Early Morning, Chapter 7 A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction Written and Narrated by Mira Rose Artwork by Cat Saturn Art on Instagram You can find a link to Cat Saturn's Instagram and their social media in the description box. And if you haven't heard the previous six chapters, you can find a link to them in the description box as well. Now then, go ahead and smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest parts of your favorite fan fictions, including this one, and smash that like button so Plaid gets his piece of camembert for today. If you are still listening, comment Ladrian. Please enjoy Early Morning, Chapter 7. Adrian Agrest as Cat Noir. 7.37 p.m. Cat Noir felt Marinette shift on his shoulder, still fast asleep. He'd put on a movie she needed him to see, unaware she'd shown him it this time last year, and fell asleep about half an hour in. Ah, sugar and cookies. So much changed over the past year. To think, in a few more days, it would be the anniversary of them starting to date— but it's not like he could tell her that. Besides, it wouldn't be a one-year anniversary of them dating. Starting to date and actually dating are two different things. Some things couldn't be fixed. Cat let himself doze as the credits rolled, startled when Marinette took her head off his shoulder. You didn't watch... She scowled, fighting a yawn. Excuse you? He reached out to fix a strand of her hair, brushing her cheek. I've been awake the whole time, unlike someone. Marinette narrowed her eyes, her pout slipping into a smile. Well, we can't all have super concentration. Right. That's why I stayed awake. The lead, couple's ep- the lead couple's epilogue popped onto the screen, a monologue chattering through the speakers. Have you ever dated someone? The question took him off guard. Have I ever... what? Dated anyone? Her smile twisted into a winning smirk. Cat took a breath, wondering if he should answer truthfully. Yes, he sighed, not looking at her. Oh, who? Don't worry about it. Oh, come on! She shoved his shoulder and giggled, ricocheting him into the throw pillows. Who? This was a dangerous conversation. Doesn't matter. Is it someone I know? She wiggled her eyebrows. Or knew? Oh, come on. He didn't want to lie to her. Not about this. Again, what does it matter? Cat Noir! Her jaw dropped. Were those rumors about Lady Noir true? He couldn't look at her. No, the rumors weren't true. Marinette narrowed her eyes. What? Aren't you telling me, Cat? How could he tell her? How could he possibly tell her she, as Ladybug, dated her currently hated classmate, Adrian Agrest? Dated her currently hated classmate, Adrian Agrest? You're right. We dated, but... We did? She sat up. Back so straight it arced, with her mouth open. Cat, I... But I didn't know it was you. What? Cat closed his eyes and sent an apology to the ladybug in his memories. You dated me as ladybug, and I... He ran his hands over his thighs, palms sweaty despite the super suit. I dated ladybug as a civilian. What? 
He gave her a moment to let what that meant sink in. I didn't know you were Marinette, he added as her face hardened into something he couldn't translate. You? Without the mask? Yeah. Did I? She hesitated, her head cocked to the side as she stared at the crochet pattern and the blanket he'd draped over her an hour before. Did I know? Did I know you were Cat? Her eyes met his with the same question he'd silently asked over the past year. He couldn't hold her gaze. I don't know, he admitted. But I liked Ladybug, so I didn't want to risk my chance by asking. Oh. Silence passed like moonlight on water, rippling between them as their bones chilled. Don't... <sighs> Cat didn't know how to phrase it. Don't let that make this weird, please. Is that why? It was her turn to look away, watching the sunset through the window. Is that why you're taking care of me? Because we used to date? No. Thankfully, it wasn't a lie. Because you feel responsible for me? Also no. That was closer to a lie. Because of Ladybug? You're her, you know. That's not what I mean. It hurt him to say it, but he had to. Yes. Marinette squeezed her eyes shut, but Cat felt like the one the words attacked. He wished he could tell her. He wished he could tell her everything, but even if he could, the moment she found out he was Adrian Agrest, she'd... So... I knew your secret identity. She opened her eyes and spared a glance his way. I don't think so. Oh. Sorry. Will you tell me? Who I am? Yeah. Marinette hugged her knees to her chest. Cat twiddled his thumbs. You know I can't do that. Even though we used to date... Even though we used to date. She took a moment to mull things over. We're different, her and I. Ladybug? Yeah. He wanted to protest. What makes you say that? You. She punched his shoulder. If we did date, then it'd be too hard on you to watch over me as Marinette if I was exactly the same. If only she could see the irony. That was the kind of thing Ladybug would say. It's all in the past. It took courage to hold her gaze. You don't still want a date, do you? What a loaded question. No. His answer took her by surprise. Oh! There were a few reasons why he said what he did, but Cat didn't want Marinette to feel pressured or awkward in their time together, sure, but it went deeper than that. Cat knew what it felt like to have half of him loved by a girl while rejecting the other. He didn't want to go through that again. And if Marinette found out, if Marinette found out she was dating the guy she couldn't stand, who knew she couldn't stand him, could they ever recover from that? Could he ever recover from that? It was best to stay like this. More than friends, but not lovers. Cat Noir would stay as Marinette's guardian. That was enough. 
Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 8 should be out next week. If you've listened this far, don't forget to not only subscribe, but smash that like button for Plague's Cam and Bear, and leave a comment in the comment section so Tiki can get some cookies too. If you don't know what to comment, put Cat Noir the Guardian. I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Don't forget you can support me on patreon.com backslash mirrorrights. Kerchow!